thinks Myriad and Netra are evenly matched at the moment. Wishes you goodbye. Wishes someone from the Myriad bloodline like you wasn't so bent on snuffing out the lights. So, says you covered the important things already. Hates that the world twisted you, says once you still had a chance. Understands you have things to do. The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Let's see. Beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred.
Mara. Tough like steel. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. 
Ah, il s'attait, Manu. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. One up the but go. Two points. Oh, he says that wasn't too bad, was it? At least you learned that you'll drown if you don't swim. Now wait, Devani. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. Fatiri. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. Kanamunta. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Monibasa. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. Monibasa. You should know, practice makes perfect. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. Tukonda. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Here's another familiar face with what's on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start.
You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. You're not in this world to live up to his expectations, but he hopes you're never going to have to use that weapon of yours. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. She worries about you. Sometimes you get lost in your own world, where the only thing that matters is you. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Me. Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. 
Kaguhu. Training with Muma will make you feel better. It always does. Will she la goyo? Cherry la fia. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. Bestilka. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. That's a good attitude as long as you keep learning. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Bala. Thanks you for being such a good student. Andro? Andro? Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. Kala, yo yo no You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Doma lektuk. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her.
catchy. Carnamunt. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Andro, do male tuku. Thinks you could say that about everything. She hopes you have better days ahead. A nora ka papum. Andro? A piece of scraptronics like this has built in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. A sana yo tutupu. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Andro? Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. Andro? She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <sighs> Nothing could stop Luke and Luke from setting the world on fire. Toro, can't see. Come on in. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. That it? Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Lupa Lupin is a problem older than you. Antoro, Kodotoko, Andro? Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Then Namposa. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. Antoro, Minalagimamuru. She had a life before you were born, you know. Darker and less fun. Here it comes, the past coming to hold the present. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow.
Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Flapjaw was on the loose. You gave them no choice but to take it down, even though they'd planned to take the fluff hulk out to the far fnacky leaves and let it go. They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is unbroken.
Look, an emergency box from the old days, when you needed to pack a punch. Wow, <laughs> bet that nut makes a tight fist. Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut, and our world still bears the marks of the massive ecological catastrophes they inflicted upon the land. The apocalypse they caused was the end of days for their world, but for us it was simply a beginning. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Feel the night wrap around you. Let's see. Never thought I'd see a clothes. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. You 
really put a spin on it. That's an odd thing, don't you think? Found the whereabouts, the deepest, darkest forest in the land. Sometimes hard to see for all the trees. Darkness makes you miss the light. a Jagney tribe outpost.
night is ending soon. That's just awful. Watch your step around here. Let's see. Wojciewon Plasciwo! Says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Belala! Hola, mon! If you can, you should try to convince the captain to give up the outpost and join your cause. They're ready to enter the outpost when you are. Every step you take towards your end goal will bring you closer to a better world. Here's the first line of defense. a bomb lover. Early wheel works that drain pipe. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. Just a few moves left. <laughs> 
make them count. Everything's clocking together. Maybe this key will do it. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. Never lost hope you'd come, but weren't sure if they'd last. Wants revenge on those who caged them, but trust you'll take care of it. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the Red Ray. Here's the second line of defense. Red means danger. shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks slowly. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close though. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger.
fare freddo. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. Out of it says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. <laughs> He had a feeling you'd get along with the Myriad tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. You seem to share the same values as the Myriad tribe. You both have the same optimistic outlook on life. At least, for now. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the World Eaters. That doesn't sound good. Out of Date's forebodings are justified. The Jumbo Puff needs to be taken care of. Ya you mawa to he says the time has come to confront the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Weta Gono. Gizmo is working on making his Mecton strong enough to endure the oxygen-deprived dead zone all the way out to the World Eater. Eh, Bubuko von Junwun. You should get over there and see what you can do to help.
Let's see. That's a gnote. Easy prey for Loopa Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. That's a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap trying to keep the area clean. Looks like some solid wood scrap there. Glad to see some wood scrap there. seem to have made a new friend. It's the Chug Yard. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the Chug Yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like, well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open.
tribe's always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprites. It's flat out black out there. Let's see. You can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. Oh, smell that? Biohazard nearby. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. Sit up, Juni, don't now. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle, 
and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. <laughs> Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. <laughs> He understands history made Loopa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. That is how you shine light at the dark. Seriously, don't doubt the dark. Oh. I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. Can't believe you let that loser sway you. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Supposes that's all any of us can do. <laughs> Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. <laughs> Understands why you're bent on finishing the world off. Supposes it's a mercy to make it faster. <laughs> Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. <laughs> Thinks that's more than most are. It's hard to keep to a path like that. <laughs> but that's not important now. <laughs> Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the Dead Zone, so you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. <laughs> That's what he decided to call it after he saw it for the first time. It's big and fluffy. That's accurate enough. If you can see past the blue color, that is. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Take this seriously, or it'll take you down. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. 